Play ball. Full four. Take your base. He's safe. Pinch hitting for Arizona, number 28, Oscar Hernandez. Now pitching for Arizona, Three. number 41, four, four, Jake Dukeman. Four, four, take the base. That hit him. He's got three. Your attention, please. Now pinch hitting, Eugenio Suarez. Now pitching for the Reds, number 36, Three. Right. Ooh. Now pitching for the Reds, number 53, Wandy Peralta. Now pitching for the Diamondbacks, number 37, Brandon Maurer. for the Reds, number 26, Rysel Iglesias. Ball four, pitch away. The pitcher, number 22, Three. Jake Lamb. Let's play ball. Three. 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 Take the base. 
Hunter. Does money. Now pitching for three. 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 Alex. Colomay. Now pitching for Colorado. Number 16. Larry. And welcome in, folks. We're in inning number eight here with one man out. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Now. much in the way of productivity well, from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. He's set. Here's the 0-1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Look out over near the on deck circle as he whistles this one fouled off to the left. I like that combination right there. Show him the curveball, and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet now that time. Two away. Andres Blanco will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number four, Andres Blanco. The fastball here is they'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away. Here in the eighth. Ready with the one oh. Swing and a little blooper to center. Marte. Onto the grass. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Andres Blanco is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third. Now playing third base, number four, Andres Blanco. Been shooting for Colorado, number 13, Derek Lawler. Now been shooting. Ian Desmond now pitching for Colorado. Three. Number zero, Adam Aravino. Not a lot of fireworks, but that narrows the candidate list for our top player of the game. And the man you see here was a key contributor, so he takes it home in this one. Hey, it wasn't a huge offensive day for him. He only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. And good evening to those of you just joining us on the show. You've chosen to tune in at a great time. The Arizona Diamondbacks are batting here in the bottom of the inning, looking to send these fans home happy with a walk-off win. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. You love this situation right here, Matt. Runner on second, no outs. You either get him over or you get him in. Worst case, get him over and the next guy drives him in. This is line to left. Up 
Boston has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Ready for another shot now. Charlie Blackman on the night. He's two for four with a pair of singles. And here's ball four now on the intentional walk. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one gone. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. So a big moment in the ball game here. Gregor Blanco, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. That's a good pitch right there. Now he's ahead in the count. You got the hitter back on his heels a little bit. Even though it's a tough situation, you know you're going to have to use all your pitches to pitch out of it. The 0-1. Line toward center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. On to first, and they get the double play. Here's Melvin Upton, Jr. Leading off for the Dodgers. Left fielder, Melvin Upton, Jr. Your attention, please. Three. Pinch hitting for the pitcher, Romo. Number 14, T.K. Hernandez. Now pitching for Los Angeles. Three. Number 74, Kenley Jansen. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. It's been an 0 for 2 well, effort for him to this point. Paul Goldschmidt. Here's the first pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. What good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. The one and one pitch. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Well, he's hoping to be a hero and drive in the winning run, but that swing tells me he's a little too amped up. You don't chase a pitch that badly if you're playing within yourself. And that one stayed up a little high. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Now the three and two pitch. This is lined into left field, and it's going to fall for a base hit. Hazelbreaker is digging for home, and the Diamondbacks are going to walk off winners. Well, that at bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish. Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through and it mattered and he's our tops player of the game. Well, the numbers don't just jump out at you, but his lone hit was a really important one. And sometimes you just need to come through what it matters most to be the hero, and he did just that.
Play ball. Three. We'd like to welcome those of you just tuning in on the show. Leading You're joining us at a great time. The Arizona Diamondbacks are batting here in the bottom of the inning, looking to send these fans home happy with a walk-off win. And it's a base hit. So there you go. The potential winning run aboard to start off the home half of the night. Now batting. Digging in once again, Charlie Blackman, 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Here's the first pitch. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. That's a big pitch right there. Now he's got him 0 and 1. And he still may not be comfortable, even 0 and 1, he's still a pretty good hitter when he's down the count. This is a big pitch right here. And this is going to be a foul ball. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Jake Lamb. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Lays off 1-0. Jake Lamb standing in now. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. And here's a ball hit in the air. Solarte has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. Now the 0-2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Can't run it down. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Ready with another two strike offering. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Jankowski there for it. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he's in there at third as the possible winning run. Brandon Drury will bat next. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. So, he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now, I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Ready for another shot. Leading out for the Padres, the right fielder number 32, Jabari Black. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Padres, number 59, Kevin Quackenbrook. Pinch hitting for the Diamondbacks. 
Here's the lefty Gregor Blanco now. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go ahead run a chance to score from second. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The 0 1. Fouled back. Now the 0-2 pitch. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Stepping in and ready for another shot, A.J. Pollock. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amend. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it, in fact, lands in the corner, fouled. The 0-1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the 0-2 pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Ready with another two-strike offering. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Phillips has a beat on it, and that's the third out. Angelo Escobar is going to grab a bat now, so he'll be asked to get things started in the top half of the 11. Jake. Now pitching for the Diamondbacks. Number 41, Jake Beekman. Now pitching for San Diego, number 39. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance. Kept the op We'd like to welcome those of you just tuning in on the show. You're joining us at a great time. Zach Grinke is back on the mound to start the eighth. He's been dealing to this point as he tries to keep this shutout effort going. And a big at. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. But this will land untouched. Pulled toward right center field. Peralta on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Giants leave a couple. They still. So Hunter Strickland. Leading He's going to lead things Giants off in their the half of the, of the ninth night. as they try Hector. to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Well, it's really starting to come down now. And the first thing I'm thinking about is how it's going to impact the game. Are the pitchers going to have to come out of this game? They're going to go very long. It, it could have a big impact when you get rain like this. And this is going to be a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. 
He's done a masterful job of pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. He froze him on the fastball there. Hunter Strickland goes quietly to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Mine to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The throw into second. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. Now the Diamondback skipper's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that's going to spell the end of the afternoon for Zach Greinke. Ready for another shot now. T.J. Hubble and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base but haven't been able to string anything together. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Swung out and missed, and it's even at two and two. Oh, man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. T.J. Hubble goes down, and they've got only one out left to work with. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Slider. Good two-strike pitch, but it misses one and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. A single run good enough to do it today. One-nothing the final score.